Hey cleaning family, it's Carolyn Arolano, your cleaning business mentor. And in today's YouTube video, I'm going to share eight methods on how to get more commercial cleaning contracts. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. Welcome back to my channel, cleaning family. I wanna start off this video by saying that you should definitely try out different avenues when it comes to marketing your cleaning business. Now, what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me. But the only way that you will find out whether an avenue of marketing is going to work or not is by actually giving it a try. And not just by giving it a try, but by giving it a try and giving it some time to work. So whether you're running Google ads, working with a sales team, if you are doing email marketing, whatever the type of marketing it may be, give yourself some time to see the actual results. I feel like a lot of times we go into uh, marketing our business and if things don't go the way we want to within the first one or two weeks, we just stop running the ads or paying for that revenue of marketing. But really we need to give ourselves this time to see if it actually works. So the first method of how to get more commercial cleaning contracts that I want to discuss is going to be hiring a professional sales team. Now in the past, you may have heard me say to hire a virtual assistant or hire a cold callers overseas. However, I personally have not had any success with trying that out. And we've done this multiple times. I have tried to hire virtual assistants overseas. I have tried to hire my mother as a cold caller who lives in the United States. But to be completely honest with you, I am not good at cold calling and I have never been good at cold calling. So for me to have to train somebody on how to cold call just never worked out. So instead, I've actually partnered up with the Commercial Cleaning Blueprint. Now, the Commercial Cleaning Blueprint is a professional sales team that is going to help put you in front of the customers of your choice. Now, whether you have a cleaning business, a roofing business, a car detailing business, a service business in general, teaming up with the Commercial Cleaning Blueprint can be very beneficial for you. Now, what does the Commercial Cleaning Blueprint do? Now, as I mentioned, they are a professional sales sales team. So they will sit down with you and understand and learn the types of clients that you're looking for and try to understand your goals. So for example, with me, cause we do use them within our business, we sat down and I told them I specifically wanted five day a week accounts and in specific areas. I also let them know what type of facilities that we were looking to get more contracts with, right? So personally, I don't like to do medical too much. I try to stay away from dialysis centers, but we sat down and we gave them the list of clients that we do want to work with, which I personally loved. Not only will they sit down with you, but they will work within your budget. They have different tiers of packaging depending on what you can afford and they will make you appointments. So instead of doing the cold calling and trying to, you know, do the entire sales process yourself, they will make your walkthrough appointments for you for the clients that you want to get in front of. Now, of course, you still have to go out and do the walkthrough yourself, get the measurements and win the proposal, but this is going to help save a lot of time. So if you guys do have the funds to put out in marketing and you want to land those commercial cleaning walkthroughs and you want to make sure that they are quality leads, which is really, really important, right? You want to make sure they are quality leads, then please be sure to check out the link in the description of my video. I am going to put a link for a free consultation call for the commercial cleaning blueprint. And as I have mentioned in past videos, I personally use this within my cleaning business. I have plenty of colleagues, friends, and mentors who also use their services. So again, Number one, hire a professional sales team. Number two is going to be leveraging Google ads. You can run targeted ads using Google ads so that you appear in search results when potential clients are looking for commercial cleaning services in your area. So when people go on and they type in commercial cleaning near me or office cleaning near me, then an ad of yours would pop up. 
Now, something that is really important after getting that lead generation from an ad is doing the follow-up, right? So you have to have a structured closing process to maximize your conversion rate. Otherwise, you're spending money in ad spend, but you're letting these clients just fall through the cracks and you're wasting money. So you wanna make sure that from the initial point of contact, from the walkthrough, from the proposal, you are continuously following up with these clients from these Google ads, okay? Now we personally run Google ads in our business. We have the pay for click ads and we also do run local service leads, which is a second form of Google ads. So Google ads is my second method to get more commercial cleaning contracts. And now a pro tip of what I would say is if you're going to run Google ads, please make sure that you have a fully functioning user-friendly website that is going to answer all of your clients questions. If you guys are interested in receiving a free web design quotation, please be sure to check out the link in the description of this video. You don't want to spend money in Google ads and send them to a poorly built website or a poorly built Google My Business profile. Now, the third method to get more commercial cleaning contracts is going to be email marketing automation. Email marketing automation essentially is going to be scraping data of a bunch of businesses that you want to get in front of. Now you can scrape this data online. All you have to do is type in data scraping websites. You do have to pay for it, but you can gather that information and you can send out email blast. You would have to use an automation software like MailChimp or HubSpot. And these softwares, you can actually upload all of that client data and send out mass emails. So whether you are adding a new service on, or maybe you just want to reach out for that initial point of contact, this is where you will send those email blasts to all of those contacts in your email list. And you want to make sure that you reply to them quickly and positively. The worst thing in the world is to send out an email campaign and then not actually convert those clients or reply to them quickly. So again, we've been over hire a professional sales team, try Google ads, making sure that you have a fully functioning website and email marketing automation using platforms such as MailChimp and HubSpot. My fourth method to get commercial cleaning clients is going to be LinkedIn marketing. Now, essentially what you would be doing is direct messaging companies on LinkedIn. First, you'd wanna use LinkedIn to filter and target your audience and the companies that you wanna reach out to based on your size or their size and the position. You wanna make sure to reach out directly to the decision makers like CEOs or office managers through personalized messages. So don't just copy and paste the message or or if you do, at minimum, please make sure that you make the beginning personalized. Hey, Carolyn, you know, just reaching out, want to let you know that we would love to give your office a free quotation because we also clean a number of doctor's offices in the area. And that's just a very weak example. You guys can go into chat GBT and literally put a prompt, help me create a LinkedIn message for my commercial cleaning business, yada, yada. But that was just one example of something that I would quickly write up or put into chat GBT. Now with you direct messaging people on LinkedIn, you want to make sure that you're maximizing your exposure. Many professionals have email automations on using the direct message on LinkedIn is actually going to help you maximize your exposure. And this is because many professionals have their email notifications on. So your LinkedIn message may also land into their inbox, increasing your chances of engagement. So if you're like me, you have your email automations on connected to your LinkedIn. So you also get that email every time you get a notification. Hey, cleaning family, if you guys are looking to grow your already existing cleaning business, please be sure to check out my website, www.cleaningbusinessmentor.com. On my site, I have a number of online courses, resources, one-on-one -on -one coaching, web design, internal forms, residential bid calculators, anything that you can possibly think of to help grow your cleaning business, be sure to check out my website. Number five is going to be strategic targeting of large buildings and or apartment buildings, right? I'm saying large buildings because maybe you're trying to get those large contracts, but essentially what you wanna do is identify 500 of the largest buildings in your city, assuming that you can staff all of these, right? 
or 500 apartment buildings in your city and target them directly through multiple channels, such as email, physical mail, phone calls, LinkedIn messaging, dropping in. You want to consistently reach out every three to four weeks and focus on building relationships with these companies. Okay. So you want to try all different avenues and really just hone in on those 500 apartment buildings or 500 doctor's offices, whatever it is that your ideal client is or who you're trying to reach. Now, my sixth method to get more commercial cleaning contracts, and we're going back to LinkedIn, is organic growth on LinkedIn. Now, organic means it's not paid, right? LinkedIn has a pretty cool automation tool called Helper, and it helps you automate the process of connecting with and messaging potential clients. It'll help you filter by the location, the job title, such as facilities managers in a specific city, and it will help you target your outreach. Once again, with the automation, we wanna make sure that we are still conveying professional messaging. So please make sure to tailor the note or the message that you're gonna send your recipient. Again, I usually use that person's first name so that they know I'm putting in a little bit of effort and not just sending a copy and paste message. My seventh method to get more commercial cleaning contracts is going to be establishing a solid referral system. First, you wanna make sure that you are leveraging your already existing clients. After securing a client, ask for referrals. Encourage them to refer you to other businesses that may need your service. And to incentivize your clients, offer them a $25 discount or a free upgrade like an oven cleaning or something of the sort so that they do want to refer you to other businesses that are in your area. Another awesome way to establish a referral system is to build strategic partnerships. Now this one is one of my favorites. Now you can actually build partnerships with other businesses such as window cleaners, carpet cleaners, real estate brokers, maybe it's a house cleaning company that doesn't do commercial cleaning, but make these alliances with other service businesses and say, Hey, listen, anytime somebody needs a painter, I'm going to refer you as long as you know, you refer my cleaning company, I'm going to refer your landscaping company every time somebody asks me for a landscaper. And you really can build a lot of business off of these referral systems that are strategic partnerships. As a matter of fact, one of my mentors, Daryl Bettler, has a huge strategic partnership alliance on Facebook where he has plumbers, carpenters, all types of business owners that are constantly tagging him every time somebody needs a cleaning business in their area. But it does work both ways. So every time somebody needs a painter, a roofer, his business is then tagging them. So we talked about leveraging your existing clients and building those strategic partnerships for your referral systems. Now we're coming to a number eight of my eight methods to get more commercial cleaning clients for your cleaning business. And this is going to be utilizing Google Maps and SEO. Now SEO stands for search engine optimization. And this is going to help with long-term growth. While building SEO credibility does take some time, having a strong profile on Google My Business and showing up under Google Maps will eventually drive organic leads to your business. And again, organic is free. So please, please, please be sure to have a very strong Google My Business profile on Google. I am going to link two videos on how to create your Google My Business profile. If you guys don't have a Google My Business profile, after watching this video, please stop what you're doing and create that profile. That is going to help you get a ton of leads in your area organically. And again, I have videos on how to optimize your profile and so forth. We actually rank in first place under the map in the three different locations that we have our Google My Business profiles, and we constantly get organic leads. So people are just putting in cleaning company near me and our profile are showing up because of all the work that we put in to the profile. Now, I do wanna leave you with some additional insights on how you can get more commercial cleaning contracts and leads for your business. Now, of course, I'm going to talk about the importance of mentorship. You can absolutely accelerate the growth of your business by hiring a mentor. I personally have had 
a number of mentors during my business journey, and I still seek and have mentors that I consult with. Having a mentor can save you so much time and energy and expenses and business mistakes. I'm not even kidding you guys. Do not hurt yourselves by not getting a mentor. My second additional insight is going to be to continuously learn and adapt. You have to stay informed about new marketing techniques and adapt your business's strategies based on what's working. Experiment with different methods and continually refine your approach. As I mentioned earlier, please give it time to actually work. And if you really don't like the results that you're getting, then make changes to see what works for you. And my final and last piece of advice is going to be to invest into your business. Be prepared to invest time and money into all of these methods, understanding that the initial costs will pay off from the recurring revenue from your long-term contracts. So although this might be a scary feat, spending money in marketing, please do understand that long-term you will see your return on investment. I hope you guys found this video educational and informational. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and of course the notifications button. That way you are notified each and every time I upload a brand new video.